My name's Ian Malcolm, and I'm here today to talk to you about solving triangles. As a carpenter, joiner, builder, whatever, it makes a whole heap of sense to understand and really get comfortable with triangles. I think they're quite interesting, to tell you the truth. But let's have a look. So. We've got a known triangle, and this one's known and used by everyone, and it's three, four, and five. And when, the, when it's set up at this ratio, that means that this square here, and that little symbol means it, that it's 90 degrees there. Okay, so three, four, five on the hypotenuse, or we could be calling that rafter length, or we could call it all sorts of things, but for the purposes, we're gonna go with hypotenuse. Okay, so there is a formula, and it goes like this, H equals square root of A squared plus B squared, which we use it as H equals square root of three squared plus four squared. Now squared means simply the number multiply it by itself. So three squared is three times three, which is nine. Four squared is four times four, which is 16. So let's just have a look and see how that works. So if we come down here and we go three, and it's three, and we come across again. So three times three equals nine. Okay, so on the bottom here, we're gonna come across and four as it is there, and we come down. Two times four, three times four, and four times four. So four times four, 16. Okay, so if I was to do the same up here, if I can make my squares small enough, Oh, we'll have to go this way. So, one, two, three, four, five. Squares are a bit small, but we get the idea. Three times five. Well, we are gonna be in trouble for room, but that's okay. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five times five, 25. So let's see how that works. So in our formula, we come down. H equals the square root of nine, which is what three times three is, plus 16, which is what four times four is, so we now go H equals the square root of 25, and five times five are 25, so H equals five. And I use this triangle when I'm I call it a known triangle. I use it to solve and test. If I was to use one calculator and I do it this way all the time, or I change calculator, or I try to do it on a spreadsheet in Excel or anything like that, I start back with this one and I test my formula and make sure it works because this is the one that I actually know what the answer is going to be. I already knew it was five, but I just go through the maths to make make sure I end up with five. Anyway, thanks for watching.